guys, this is Kristen with Larson Digital, and today we are going to learn how to edit your video files using the Wondershare Filmora program. This will allow you to edit out clips or sections of your video that you don't want, that you want to take out. So let's get started. So the first thing you do is once you execute or double click on your program, it's going to bring you to this screen. Um, it's going to ask whether you want easy mode or full feature mode, and you're going to want to select full feature mode. Okay, now to kind of get the lay of the land here of this program, up here is going to be where your gallery is, and those are the files that you have imported into the software. Um, if you haven't used the software before, yours will probably be blank. Um, the next thing right here, this is uh, where you play your video. So once you're actually playing it and editing it, you can actually see what's going on on screen. And then down here is your timeline. That allows you to add text, your video files, music, all of all of those things and you kind of keep nice sections so you can kind of see all these different layers right here. So the first thing you want to do is we want to import a video file. So we go up here to import and then go import media files and then go in here and find your file. Once you find your file just um, highlight it and then hit open. Okay and then what's it what it does is it's going to bring it here into your gallery and then you need to drag it down. Um, if you have multiple video clips to add, go ahead and add them now. So what I'm going to do is I want to edit this clip, so I'm going to grab it and just drag it down here, okay? Notice how I can see my beginning, but the ending is clear over here. So I like to be able to see my beginning and my end, just so I have a good reference point, and then I can zoom in for more detailed changes. So this button right here, if you kind of drag it, this zooms in and zooms out, or you can use this little plus or minus button, but it's a little slow. So I find it to be just a little bit tedious, okay? So right here, now I can see my beginning and I can see my end spot. So there is part of this video clip that I wanna find and it's got this cute little girl and she's, um, it's Easter morning and she's just, you know, walking around. Um, and so I'm just going to scroll through until I find my spot. So we just saw her here just a minute ago. So this is where we're going to want to zoom in and find your spot, okay? And then you can kind of see all these little frames. It kind of helps you see what is going to be on screen, okay? So I'm going to drag my mouse over here to where I want to begin, okay? So I find my beginning point, and then you go up to this little scissor right here, and it's the split tool, and you just click right there. And what that did, I'm going to move this. Um, see that line? That means that we have now split that clip. So this section right here is my first clip. This section is my second clip, okay? So this is my beginning point because I'm going to delete this section. And now I want to scroll till I'm done, which is about right here, okay? So see how you want to be a little more precise, and that's why it's nice to be able to zoom in. So this is where I'm going to end it. So then I'm going to go up to the split tool again, and I'm going to split this clip. So now I've got one video file, another, or not a file, but a clip, a video clip here, a video clip here, and then my third video clip. Now I'm going to delete this clip, and I'm going to delete this clip so I can just keep this section in the middle. So what I do is I highlight, I actually just zoomed in on accent. So I'm going to highlight this clip, and then I'm going to go up to the little trash can, and I do that, and that just deletes it um, out of this timeline. And then I'm going to select this bigger portion that I don't want, and then I'm just going to delete that. And that is it. It's really simple to do. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to save our work. So there's two things you need to do. You want to save the project, um, and that is not a file that you can play. It's a project file specifically for this program. This allows you to come back in and make changes and, and all of that. Um, but then we'll also learn how to save it as a video file that you can upload online, put on YouTube, send to friends. Um, so there's the two different things. So to create the project, you want to go to File and then go Save Project As or just Save Project. And I'm going to call this the Splice Tool and then just hit Save. That allows me to come back and change my work at a later time. Um, and it's also really smart to save the project before you've put in a whole ton of work. Okay, the next thing is we are going to export this. And to export it, that means that we are going to render this file and we are going to create a new video file from it. Okay, so go to export and then go to create video. 
So there's a couple different options, export to device, upload to YouTube, upload to Facebook. I don't like to use these tools so much. I like to be able to have a little more control, create my video file, and then I can upload it to YouTube at a later time. So I go to create video, and then this is gonna let you pick whether you want an MP4, AVI, MOV. You can kind of pick whichever one you personally like. I personally like MP4 files. Um, they're more universally accepted. Um, I like the file sizes aren't that much. Select your MP4 file or whatever file format you want, and it just change your name to whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to call this the Splice Video. And then where you want to save it, I will just save this right to my Documents folder. Um, don't forget where you save it. Um, right here you can get into the settings. Um, I always say change your quality to best. You can always render it to a lower resolution, but once you save it at a better or good, it's always going to be that and you can never go backwards to best. Leave all of these things the default unless you have a specific reason to be changing them. And then just hit OK and then hit Export. And then it has to render the video. This can take a while. Um, this clip that I'm doing is really short so it'll finish pretty quickly. But if you have like a two hour video, it could take, um, sometimes it could take two hours, sometimes it takes longer. Um, and then once it's done, it'll let you know. And then after that, you've got your video file. Um, I hope this has been helpful to you. Um, check out some of the other videos we have online. And I hope you guys have a good day.